Welcome to the Pete Della Torre Business Hour, a daily focus on late breaking news on business opportunities and economic development in South Florida, featuring the movers and shakers of our community. And now, your host, Pete Della Torre. Good morning, everyone. This is Pete Della Torre, and welcome once again to the Pete Della Torre Business Hour here. On 880 AM, The Biz, the only all-business station in South Florida. We are broadcasting live from Miami, Florida, and heard around the world on 880thebiz.com. We have an amazing show this morning. Uh, The theme this month, the month of February, is the business of health. And health has... It, it, it means so much to to all of us, and and a big part of what we do here, of course, is we focus on business and everything going on. So uh, much of our discussion will be on the health of your business, or do you have a, a, a profitable business? Are you growing? What other skill sets of your colleagues, of your employees, are they as healthy as they can be along those lines? And not only that, but physically, are they healthy? Is their mind set? Is it focused? Because as we know, when those things get in the way, it affects our business, it affects you know, our, our productivity, and we want to make sure that whole concept and idea of health is, uh, is talked about throughout this month. And not only that, of course, the healthcare industry, which is, it's got so many moving parts, and we're going to be bringing on experts along the way that are going to give us the right information on what's happening, and of course, within all that, all of the many opportunities in the healthcare industry. Before we move on, let me share with you our sponsors for today. FIU College of Business, Kathy Parade on Associates, PS Business Parks, Global Advisory Solutions, Red Bird Chiropractic, and Sora Global Insurance and Consulting. We have a full lineup of guests today. We're going to open it up with Jacqueline Sosa, who is with FIU's College of Business. In fact, she is a special consultant to the Dean of the College of Business, and she is going to talk about this amazing event coming up in May, Emerge Americas, which is hosted by the Technology Foundation of the Americas, and it is going to be an amazing event promoting technology in the Americas, but it's got so much more than that, and she's going to share information. My second guest, Efrain Sora, Sora Global Insurance and Consulting, and his topic today Uh, besides uh, talking a little bit about the types of things that he does, which is a great service, a great need today, is social responsibility. And Efrain is very involved in that. He understands the importance of of getting involved and giving back. And I think it's a great story that you're going to hear this morning. My third guest, Sally Villarba, New Dawn Enterprise. Of course, we started a few weeks ago, Sally's Biz Tips. And she's going to ask an important question that, you need to tune into. You own a business. You've been out there for a couple of years. Do you know when your business is ready for the next step? She's going to help you with that. And my final guest, Clara Serrano, Freedom Concierge Services, to talk about what's happening around town. Lots going on, my friends. Do not forget to download my free mobile application. It's available everywhere. Search for Pete Delatory Altogether No Spaces. And you're going to see how exciting this is, how interactive we're going to make this so that you can really be connected to the things we're doing here in the show. All right. Without further ado, let me bring on my first guest. Uh, She's back once again. Jacqueline Sosa, special consultant to the Dean College of Business at FIU. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing terrific. How are things on your end? Very, very well. I'm, uh, I can't complain, that's for sure. We're really excited about a lot of things that we're doing at FIU. Now, your, your focus today is going to be, again, on promoting innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. And uh, tell us uh, uh, about what's happening that, with this collaboration that you have with the Technology Foundation of the Americas regarding e Merge Americas. Well, you know, Emerge Americas is this fabulous event that um, is being planned for May 2 through 6. It, the heart of it is going to be in Miami Beach at the Miami Beach Convention Center, but it's really going to impact all of Miami. Um, there are going to be a series of events um, among, uh, and it's going to be organized uh, throughout several days, uh, launching with a Mayor's Innovation Summit where there will be mayors from throughout the Americas here. Uh, looking at technology and innovation and how it's impacting the way we run cities and governments. Um, There's going to be 
on days um, on the Monday and Tuesday of that week, a series of tracks on innovation and technology in different industries, from healthcare, which I know is one of the industries you're focusing on this month, mm-hmm. and um, how healthcare is changing because of technology and innovation, um, to the fi- financial industry, to the entertainment industry, uh, education. And also just looking across industries, uh, one of the one of the really fun events I think is going to be uh, a series of pitches by companies throughout South Florida and throughout Latin America pitching to investors uh, their ideas uh, and to seek funding. So it, it's really going. In addition to that, there'll be social activities taking place in the evening. Um, it's just really going to be a, a great uh, five six days, I think. This is exciting. This is, of course, uh, the 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 uh, the thought all started with uh, Manny Medina, who is uh, who's leading the charge here with a collaboration of uh, some major major players in the community. And this th- this is an event that's been in the planning now for at least a couple of years, correct? Uh, yes, I think the idea certainly has been um, has been there for a couple of years. Uh, the planning. It- Serious planning has been taking place for the past year. Mm -hmm. Um, It's really nice seeing it all come together. Uh, Already speakers have been announced. um, And if you visit EmergeAmericas.org, you can see the great lineup of speakers uh, that already are are confirmed and more are being confirmed all the time. Um, So there's really been a lot of thought that's gone into this. and, And the end goal is really to be able to place Miami as a center, um, it's a pivotal point when it comes to innovation and technology throughout Latin America, the Caribbean, um, and, and firm up our, our position in that. I think the talk has been the buzzword is, is and, and the vision is to, is to create Miami as a technology hub of the Americas. Yes, and, and you know, you can define technology yes. hub in a lot of different ways. Um, even if we're not the place where, um, uh, for example, manufacturing is correct, the place, correct. Or, uh, we can certainly be a forum for ideas mm-hmm. and for um, exchanges of, mm-hmm. of, um, of business uh, transactions. And so there's lots of different ways that you can be a hub. And, uh, and this is just one of the steps to, to get us there. Uh, so, I mean, congratulations. I think this is a great collaboration. This is a very exciting event. Again, it's it's. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be coverage from every possible way. And, and and this is great news. It's great branding for the city of Miami. And 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 this is what's this is what's going on. And when you compare that to all of the uh, incubators and and the uh, the entrepreneurship centers that are popping up in different locations in town, this kind of all feeds into that innovation and and in entrepreneurship and talking about that um uh, uh what are some of the things that that if you is doing to continue to promote entrepreneurship and obviously now uh the small business development center is has partnered up with FIU in those projects. That's right. The Small Business Development Center is a center that is already up and running. We um, just formed it this, at the beginning of this year that is providing business consultants to entrepreneurs and businesses, existing businesses in Miami-Dade County, and they provide no-cost, one-on-one consulting and, and in a variety of areas from financial um, consulting to marketing to um, special needs if you're or interest such as if your business is interested in government contracting if it's interested in importing exporting developing a market overseas um, we really have a whole team of consultants that can, that are experts and have experience in just all different aspects of business development um, uh, question I'm a, uh, a a business small business owner today and um, I've got a ton of questions on how to start things and how to move forward there. It's very intimidating uh, when you're not uh, sure about uh, the direction to take there. Uh, what are you doing with the Small Business Development Center to kind of guide people and, and kind of at the very onset kind of ease them into, to, you know, and, and take them step by step? Well, um, and, and it's, it's, I'm glad that you say that because it is step by step. Um, it is a process that that really is methodical, more methodical than maybe most people realize because you have a great idea for something, and to get it from that idea concept stage to a company that's actually operating and generating revenue, um, it, it tends to be a methodical process. Not an easy one and, and not a straight line, but you do have to take certain steps. And a lot of times 
for example, um, uh, an, uh, an entrepreneur, somebody who's sort of in the pre-venture stage might approach one of our consultants with an idea. And sometimes what they need to do is to really focus that idea, define the market, do some research on the market, do, uh, perhaps uh, start developing some strategies for accessing the market. Our consultants can help with everything from developing strategic plans, developing business plans, um, and, and, and to things like access to capital, which has to be part of your, your plan. How is it that you're going to be able to fund this? Um, so the great thing is that our consultants really can help with all of that. Now, the consultants are, 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 are business owners, correct, and professionals? Uh, many have been. Um, they come really come from all kinds of areas. Uh, SBDC consultants, many were, were business owners, um, many bankers. Um, it, many bi really have been working with businesses uh, for uh, some of them 20, 30 years. So they've seen the full range of challenges that businesses have. And um, it's a little bit comforting or discomforting, I don't know, but it's the interesting thing is that a lot of businesses really face the same challenges. So business owners who may be having a particular problem think that they're alone or that, that their problem is unique, uh, you know, could be working with a consultant who's seen that problem dozens of times already and has a good idea of how to overcome it. Is there a physical location that uh, um, many of these people can go to? Well, the, the, our, the best way to request a consultant appointment is to visit us at entrepreneurship.fiu.edu okay. and visit the SBDC section because what we do is um, we will ask some questions about the business, whether it's, a con it's an idea for a business or a business that's already up and running. And then once we receive those answers, we review it, and we want to make sure we assign the right consultant to your specific needs. So once we review that, then uh, we have a consultant contact you. But yes, we will have, um, where well, we do have a physical location on Brickell at FIU downtown at Brickell, and we're also going to be having consultants at our Biscayne Bay campus and our main campus. We are we are we are finalizing uh, um, a uh, a a show that we're going to do remote from the Penal Center uh, mm -hmm. in late February. Mm -hmm. We're not yep. as we get that squared away in the next couple of days we'll let everyone know but we're excited going out there and getting into that whole environment of the penal center and everything that's going on and uh, and we're going to do it in the time of day where there's a lot of activity there so uh, between professors and students and i think it's going to make for a great great program there very quickly before we wrap it up uh, um, without anything specific, but the, what have been some of the uh, or one particular success story as a result of a business coming to the Small Business Development Center that you can think about right now? Well, our center, the Miami Center, is new. So um, although we have already helped um, more than 30 entrepreneurs and business owners um, in just a few weeks we've been opened, um, there are many success stories from SBD C centers mm -hmm. throughout the country and certainly throughout Florida. For example, in Fort Lauderdale, one, cent, uh, one company um, that has received help is a company called JFK Tutoring, which um, almost from its beginning to about 10 years ago was working with the SBDC in Palm Beach and, uh, and I believe also the SBDC in Broward. And it's grown tremendously through, um, throughout the 10 years since it went in business. And has received SBDC help on everything from access to capital to government contracting to strategic planning. Um, so, and that's just one of many, many examples. And I'm sure there's many more there. And congratulations on all the work that you are all doing there at the college and through the SBDC. What is the very best way for the listeners to get a hold of you if they have a, a question, they'd like to find out more? The best way to, to get a hold of us is to visit us at entrepreneurship.fiu.edu. Um, they can learn about the SBDC. They can learn about uh, activities going on at our Penal Global Entrepreneurship Center. They can learn um, just about different – we have entrepreneurship certificates at FIU. So um, they'll, you know, they'll really be able to get a, a feel for a lot of things that we're doing to help grow businesses in Miami-Dade. Jacqueline, thank you so much for taking the time. This has been very informative and, uh, again, very exciting what's happening with eMerge Americas, and we will be talking a lot more about that as we get closer to the event. So have a fantastic day, and thank you so much. Thank you. Likewise. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.
Thank you again to Jackie Sosa from the uh, College of Business at FIU, and just uh, amazing, amazing what's going on. And we're so happy to have FIU as uh, as one of our partners uh, in this uh, in this show uh, every single day. All right, we're going to go to our first break. But when we come back, uh, Efrain Sora from Sora Global Insurance and Consulting, and his topic, besides getting to know a little bit more about Efrain, is social responsibility. And a little bit later on, Sally's Biz Tips. And, of course, the question is, don't forget this, do you know when your business is ready for the next step? And later on in the show, Around Town with Clara Serrano. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete De La Torre Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. Make it your business to get to know and learn about the globally ranked graduate business programs at Florida International University. The Chapman Graduate School of Business is currently offering highly renowned MBAs, including the Executive MBA and a Healthcare MBA, as well as eight specialized master degrees. Classes start every August and January in three convenient locations, the main Miami campus, the Broward Pine Center in Pembroke Pines, and more recently, the state-of-the-art facility in the center of Brickell Avenue's financial district. Get to know more about them at business.fiu.edu or call them at 305-348-0148. Having trouble losing those extra pounds? Don't diet. Eat smart with fit to go fit to goes balanced meals help you maintain a healthy lifestyle and lose weight the right way. Designed by a chef and a dietitian, fit to go offers great flavors and varieties with no contracts or commitment. Just pay as you go. Call fit to go to schedule your free meal today. 305-718-3858. Kathy Pareto & Associates is an independent fee-only investment management and financial planning firm. The firm's certified financial planners provide personalized ongoing or hourly-based financial planning and investment management services. More and more individuals and families are using the services of fee-only independent advisors to help them with their personal financial plans and investments. You may be asking why. The reason for this trend is simple. With a fiduciary fee-only advisor, you have a dedicated and unbiased professional that not only has your best interest at heart, but also adheres to the highest standards of ethics within the financial services industry. Kathy Pareto & Associates has been recognized in Worth Magazine as a top 250 wealth advisor in 2008 and a top 10 most dependable wealth managers for women in Forbes Magazine. Call them today at 305-648-9814 to set up a complimentary initial consultation or visit them at the web at www.kathypareto.com. That's Kathy with a C. Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact Attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305-854-2 Welcome back to the Pete De La Torre Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now your host, Pete De La Torre. Okay, welcome back everyone to the Pete De La Torre Business Hour. We are broadcasting live from Miami, Florida and heard around the world on 880thebiz.com. Thank you to Jackie Sosa from FIU College of Business. Exciting information on Emerge Americas and the Small Business Development Center. Do not f forget to download my free mobile app. Search Pete Delatore altogether, no spaces. All right, it is my pleasure now to bring to the program a new sponsor, uh, uh, a gentleman I've known for a few years now and uh, uh, very good at what he does. He's very focused. Uh, He's been in the insurance business for a long, long time. Uh, 
I'm not going to say how long because I'll give away my age as well, and uh, uh, we don't want to do that today. At least we want to we want to make sure that uh, we we keep you thinking and guessing out there. But uh, Efrain Sorra Sorra, Global Insurance and Consulting, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for having me be aboard. I mean, I love being here with you guys. Well, you were here last year at some point. Yes, I uh, was when we were doing the weekly show, and we That's had right. a. Uh, we had some great information to share with the audience. Before we move on to the topic today, which I think is great, uh, social responsibility, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. Sure. Uh, SOAR Global Insurance uh, and Consulting uh, was created uh, well, f- quite a few years ago, but it was uh, mainly created for the domestic market. And uh, now with all the changes going on and all that, so we, um, a couple of years ago, or actually uh, three years ago, uh, we went ahead and, and we created a uh, another a portion to this to our business, which is the international market. So right now we're we're uh, we have domestic products uh, for health and um, and life and non non Obamacare products because uh, we, well, what's Obamacare? Uh, you know the Affordable Care Act. Oh, that's what that is. Right, right. The Affordable Care Act and and you know um, lovingly known by so many by right. for, by Obamacare. Mm-hmm. And the Affordable Care Act, uh, well, you know, it has many facets, and and um, and and actually, the the uh, the main purpose is for everybody to have insurance. Of course, that's putting it in a, in a very nutty nutshell. Yeah. But but it has the portions, you know, the the people who receive the subsidies, and and then those of us who, because of our income level, we do not receive subsidies. Where, but, and that's the type of uh, of, of individuals, the type of the, the companies, the smaller companies. The between uh, you know the four employees and the and the fifty employees the the ones that that don't fit into any specific uh, portion of the Affordable Care Act but are required their employees are required to have uh, to have insurance so th- those are the are the types of uh, domestically speaking those are the type of companies or individuals that that we uh, um, consult. And I say consult because right now insurance is uh, all the. the I, I was best just going to ask do. you right now. Uh, we uh, most of us need a lot of hand holding here. Absolutely. I mean, cause it's like, what's next? I mean, you go. It's like going from one dark room to another. Absolutely. And not knowing what's what's happening in that room and then the other room and and it. it I don't know that it's getting any better. Well, At least from my perspective, is, is, is there any clarity going on here? Not not really, not really. And and what we what what's ended up. Being is that uh, we're you know people like myself we're consulting like I said uh, you come to me and 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 I'll ask you uh, three or four questions and then I'll tell you well you know what uh, I, you you fit into the Affordable Care Act portion where you're going to receive a subsidy you and your family because your income and how many family members there are and uh, so I'll I'll send you to somebody and that that's specializing in that and and uh, and there are. Uh, companies out there, insurance agencies, who that's all that they're doing. It's specializing in, mm-hmm, in, mm-hmm. in getting people through the system, through healthcare.gov, which is amazing in itself. Not amazing, but a maze, which is I'm, quite. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. really glad you cleared yes, that one up. It is a maze. It's an amazing journey. It is a maze. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's an amazing anywhere. journey. I don't know what is amazing. Amazing. You know, a, 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 you know, someone asked you, I heard this a long time, how you doing? <laughs> you go, you know, uh, how are you doing? You know, I'm just doing amazing. Could be amazingly great right, or, or amazing. amazingly not so Absolutely. great. Absolutely. So it all depends yeah, on how you look yeah, at that yeah, that word there. Yeah. So so if they if if uh, so we've become so specialized as of uh, January 1st that it's unbelievable. I mean, right. I, I sat back the other day and I said, "Oh my god, the, you know, it's been, you know, insurance has always been, you know, so a client comes in, you quote them, he wants it, he doesn't want it. It's all been the same, you write them. That's it." Now it's specialized. Yeah. You know, if, if you fall into one category, you go here. You fall in another category, you go here. Now, for instance, I do the smaller business, which is uh, four to 50 employees. Now, 50 and up, that's another category altogether. So, and another specialty and another set of rules. And, I mean, it's, it's, they, they've created. All with the purpose of providing coverage for everybody. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully that's the case. I, I, I tend to defer on, <laughs> on the no, results and I, and and the outcome. Get in, I'm, I'm not, not getting into that. I, I refuse to get yeah. into that conversation yeah. because I'm going to go nowhere fast. So Absolutely. Well, just un, just uh, for all of you listening, just understand that it is not an easy process. It is a moving target. But. To professionals like Efrain, uh, they will help you along the way and, you know, and hopefully turn on the lights in these dark rooms as you're going through there and, and get you into the right place and kind of guide you. So 
Uh, I think it's great work that you're doing there. Now, let's talk about social responsibility because I, I just think that a lot of us are not doing enough of that. And, and, and I think it's, you know, you and I had a great conversation last week regarding that and, and the need to, to really to give and help others without the expectation of receiving because out of the goodness of our heart, we want to reach out and, 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 and extend our hand. Tell us a little bit about why that's important to you and, and an example of what you've done to, to do that. Uh, for instance, um, Soro Global, I have, my motto is Soro Global is more than a company. It's the means to a passion. And we all have passions in this world, whether it's our business or it's a, uh, uh, you know, it's a family or, or, or your radio show or whatever it is. It's a passion. Mm -hmm. uh, my passion has always been helping people. And, uh, and, and that is something that, that, that sometimes, it, you know, depending on who it is that you're helping, there's a lot of people that's on, that's on board. And then there, there's other, uh, you know, entities, other that, that not that well known. Yet we're always out there trying to find that. And my passion's always been kids of all ages. Mm -hmm. And and I think that um, that that kids are you know the I, I I don't think I mean the the uh, they are the the future of humanity. And uh, and if we, if we take the young minds and and we mold them correctly and uh, to the best of our abilities as human beings, <clears throat> I think that that our society is in the future is not as dreadful as people think. Yeah, uh, you know, they, it's going to be, and you hear a lot of things out there. You know, oh my God, you know what's this world coming to? You know what's, you know these kids. Is this? And, and it's not a matter of about. You know, kids are kids, and and we are, and we've all been there. And and although I have a couple of years under my belt, you know, I still remember. Join, when join I, the club. Yeah, you know, I I still remember when I was a kid, and I remember the things that I did when I was a kid. I remember what I did when I was an adolescent and when I was a teenager, and and and. As a young adult, you know, one of the things I see, and, and today I have the honor of going back to my high school uh, a little bit later on, about midday, and, and they're having a career day. And I, I was asked to see if I want to make a presentation, and it's, it's always good to go back and give. And so I'm going to share with them entrepreneurship and ideas behind that, and the, you know, and the opportunities there, and also the truths and you know the the real deal there. And 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 that for me is is, is giving back. Absolutely. You know, and I don't have any expectation on getting anything in return. It's just Absolutely. the satisfaction of doing that. Absolutely. So whatever we can, it doesn't have to, you know, in our minds, oh, it's got to be something really big and huge. Whatever we can do to give back is it weighs a ton. Uh, tremendously. Like, um, <clears throat> for instance, uh, we well, a couple of years ago, I, I met Nick Silverio from a, a safe haven yep. from newborn. Yep. And that's a tremendous uh, organization because it's Great saving guy. it's it's saving babies. Uh, I mean, yeah. actually saving babies. You know, it's it, it, safe haven for those who do not know. It is a law. It's a state law that that um, lets the the, the mother mm -hmm. lets the mother go. Um, um, you know, if, if the mother feels that she cannot uh, take care of the baby within the first seven days of birth, she can take it to the hospital. She can take it to uh, you know, fire station and just, you know, uh, give up the baby. And, and what, what a safe haven does is it looks, you know, it oversees the process from, from that point uh, of, of the mother handing over the baby to the adoption. Mm -hmm. And has relationships with with different adoption agencies, and and it does a tremendous job because it, it has a twenty four hour hotline. It, it you know women can call in there all the time, uh, you know during the pregnancy or even the first you know few days after birth, and 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 very lovingly this hotline will 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 show them the way. Will show them. Th this is a perfect example of how you can get involved, and and uh, I commend you and congratulate you. Uh, we've run out of time today, but next time we get together. We're going to talk a little bit more about social responsibility and what's going on in the healthcare industry. And also, I know that you're part of the uh, newly elected uh, board of directors of the yes, Office Business Council. And you're really proud about that. And, yes. and we'll chit chat about that next time. Best way to get a hold of you for our listeners 305 776 8962 or esora at soroglobal.com. Thank you, my friend. Thank Great you, start, Pete. buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the program. All right, we're going to go now to a traffic break. And a Bloomberg update, but uh, do not touch that dial. We're getting ready for the second half of the show. We're going to start when we come back with Sally's Biz Tips. You don't want to miss that. Around town with Clara Serrano. And I've got some very exciting announcements that I want to share with you. So stay put. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz.
And now, WZAB Traffic. And Miami Dade this morning looking at delays in the Palmetto northbound from Bird Road to the Dolphin Expressway. Also looking at a crash on the Dolphin Expressway eastbound at Northwest 72nd Avenue and a crash on Ives Dairy Road at Northeast 2nd Ave. In Broward County, we're looking at a crash that's just blocking the right shoulder on the Florida's Turnpike northbound before Griffin that has traffic backed up until uh, before Hollywood Boulevard. That's your Miami area traffic. Futures higher ahead of jobless claims from Bloomberg World Headquarters in New York. I'm Courtney Donahoe. Stock index futures rising, signaling equities will climb for a second day. Investors waiting on data on jobless claims and earnings releases of companies from General Motors to Kellogg. Coca-Cola agreed to buy a 10% stake in Green Mountain Coffee Roasters for about $1.25 billion and work with the maker of Keurig Coffee Brewers to introduce a system for producing single-serve cold drinks. There is a reason that Pizza Hut charges extra for stuffed crust. Cheese is generally the costliest ingredient for pizza restaurants. It's 35% to 40% of Papa John's food costs, for instance, and it's getting more expensive. The price of mozzarella cheese is up about 16% since the beginning of December, and the price of cheddar cheese has jumped about 25%, according to data from Bloomberg. Pizza chains should not be affected much. Other costs, such as meat and wheat, have dropped. And that's a Bloomberg Market Minute. Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact Attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305-854-2 they come to Miami by air, land, and sea. They are businesses of all sizes and in numerous sectors. Some have a local presence, others a global reach. What they all have in common is housing their business at Miami International Commerce Center, one of South Florida's largest industrial business parks with over 3.5 million square feet of flexible space to fit every business requirement. Miami International Commerce Center represents the ideal business address for freight, flex, and warehouse uses. Conveniently located near Miami International Airport, Port of Miami, major thoroughfares, downtown, Miami International Commerce Center, grow your business with us 305-590-1515 welcome back to the pete delatore business hour here on 880 a.m the biz and now your host pete delatore that's right Okay, welcome back, my friends, to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM, The Biz. Uh, we are broadcasting live from Miami, Florida, and heard around the world at 880 AM, The Biz. Uh, just a little bit more about Sora Global Domestic in International Health Insurance. They have insurance plans for business as well as personal, no matter where you are in the world, where you live where you are coming from, or where you are going. They can cover both your long and short-term health insurance needs. Your, 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 uh, your ticket to get the right information on insurance is through Sora Global. Call them at 305-396-9068 or email them at eSora at soraglobal.com. Remember, in the second half, we're going to now talk about some very exciting things. Download my free mobile app, Pete Delatore. And I've got some very exciting announcements that I will be sharing with you uh, towards the end of the program today. But without further ado, we are now bringing back, to, uh, based on popular demand and the fact that she is motivated here to share some great information, we have Sally V. out about New Dawn Enterprise, who will be sharing some more Sally's biz tips good morning how are you good morning to you sir how are you doing today well the sir makes me feel a little bit older there so uh but uh, but, but i know i know it's out of respect i appreciate that very much there <laughs> all right uh now this 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 important thing to think about uh do you know when your business is ready for the next step that's a big question and i know that you're going to help us a little bit with that today well yeah that's most of um the questions that i had throughout my uh my career and it's it's funny i just uh was thinking you know tips are tips so what's uh, important for a business owner to know and i, I found uh, across my path uh, something that i wanted to share it says um 
To change your results, you don't just have to change what you are doing. You likely need to change who you are being. And I believe that to be true, not only for you personally, for us personally, but also for your business. So you do actually need to change what your business is doing for itself. Mm -hmm. And um, most of the times, it's actually within that you would find all those wonderful changes that you're looking for outside. Mm Mm-hmm. And um, to be to be honest here, we, we are constantly evolving, whether it's ourselves or our business. We have staff, we have ideas, we have things that change. So we have to be constantly up in our game. Now, last Thursday, we had Scott Schickler, uh, the author, a co-author of um, Seven Mindsets. And uh, a big amazing part, interview. Yeah. Uh, a big part of that conversation was, uh, uh, you know, what is the trigger? What is the success trigger? And, and that success trigger is within us and anything that we're going to do. In fact, the business of health that we're focusing on this month, a lot has to do with personal development and organizations looking within themselves to grow and improve. But along the way, you know, questions arise. You know, you've been in business a couple Correct. of years, three years, and okay, uh, we're doing all right here, but uh, is it the time to grow? You know, uh, uh, and if if it is a time to grow, what do I do and how do I do it there? But that first question is, you know, when do you know and how can you find out when you are ready for the next step? And you've got some specific ideas on that. Yes, and, and the, the question in itself is it's pretty big and our time is a little limited. But um, in my years of as a commercial business banker, uh, 13 basically, mm-hmm. um, I had a lot of clients approach me to ask for loans, mm-hmm. to give you an example. So after a brief uh, kind of funneling through a couple of questions and asking them what really is their need, because sometimes you think you need something when in fact you really don't. Correct. And um, part of my job was always to find out that reason behind what you're doing uh, to find out if it's the best, uh, it's, if it's the best deal for you. So sometimes they really did not need the loan. So it, to me, right now as a business coach, is uh, is just actually following that through mm-hmm. and just and help uh, our clients discover the possibilities within. Mm-hmm. So, do you really need to, a capital injection or a loan? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Mm-hmm. Maybe you think that that is what's going to get you to the next step. And uh, so I have a couple of tips. So ask yourself these couple of questions. Do I know what my cash flow cycle looks like? Mm -hmm. Do I know that? Do I really pay attention to find out when I put in that dollar, how long does it take to have that dollar back? Mm -hmm. Great question. That is a crucial, crucial question for you to know. And sometimes we're just, as business owners, so bogged down with sales and sales and sales and sales, but we really don't take the time to look at the little things. Um, draw a cash cycle chart. I think that that is the, the I'm a very visual person. So by drawing the, the, the cycle, I kind of get a leap of where it is that, mm-hmm. that the time is, is elapsing and, and how long does it really take? I think that is a great thing to do and, and try and exercise that. Another one is, are there other ways to improve my cash flow? Well, of course there is. Looking within would be one of them. And, and how would you do that? Uh, look for ways to decrease your receivables. You know, nowadays, uh, the, the phrase cash flow was not heard of a couple of years ago. And all of a sudden, it just became a, a household name. Well, cash is king. <laughs> I mean, without oh, yeah. that, you, 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 you can't survive. But people don't understand the importance of having uh, a cash flow and sometimes people and most business owners think that by giving uh, your product an X amount of time for they, they won't they won't be able to sell it mm-hmm. if I don't give you 30 days or 45 days I won't be able to sell my product to you well is it better for me to sell my product to you or not mm-hmm. so if you if you have a client that cannot afford to give you that payment sooner maybe think is this a client that i would really want to have i mean mm-hmm. unless he's like 50 percent of of uh of your client and he's going to take 50 percent of your products every month then look for find out a way if that client that you have is really the one that you really want and you really need mm-hmm. and um another great 
uh, tip to reduce your receivables is have a merchant account. Sometimes we collect cash and sometimes we collect checks and sometimes we give these terms. Try and give the option of collecting with a merchant account, credit card. You get your payment 24 to 48 hours later and they get points and they pay 30 days later, but you already paid and you are increasing your cash flow. There is a small cost to, to having there's, merchant there's, services and you've got to factor that into your of pricing course, scheme and, and of course, all that. But there. sometimes having the money right there. Oh, no, no, well no, 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 no. Absolutely. I agree with it's you 100% well there. It. So if you were to kind of wrap this up at, um, uh, for our listeners who are tuning in this morning and they have that question, you know, I've got a business, things are going well, you know, am I ready for the next step? You know, am I really ready for that next step? And you just allude to a great point is uh, instantly, okay, I'll just, uh, you know, I need to grow and I need to do this. I need more money. Let me go get a loan. Correct. But what's important here is, is to go to the right person. Uh, you can call Sally. She's an ex-banker. She can guide you along the way and answer those questions and position you where you need to go to, you know, guide you along the way there. And and maybe that, you know, you don't need that loan right now. Maybe there's other ways that you can consider, which is what you you just broke right down. Look at your receivables and, mm -hmm. and offer things that can that can give you a cash injection in, in the short term that will allow you to grow and do things so that eventually maybe you do need that big loan coming in because you're now you're ready, now you're ready. to go to that next level. So this has been great stuff um, for the listeners. They have questions. I know they have a lot of them. How can they get a hold of you? Best way. Best way, 305-905-1164. Uh, or info at discoveringyourpossibilities.com. Boy, and boy, do we have opportunities within us, and we there you are go. just I'm all about discovering them for we, you. <laughs> and you know, it's like uh, you know, getting someone with a with a big big flashlight to help you through those uh, those areas that you that are a little bit those foggy roads, and and uh, not overlooking all the great things that we have within us, and and uh, that's where it all Never starts, it. my friends. Always starts. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Sir. This has been great today. Uh, before we go to our last break of the um, of the show today, tomorrow, very, very excited, my friends. We're going to start a brand new segment. It's called The Business of Sports. I'm going to have a, a great guy, great, uh, great community guy here, Jose Sotolongo, the executive director, Miami-Dade Sports Commission, and we're going to start – a bi-weekly segment, first and third Friday of every month, we're going to focus on the business of sports. There's enough out there regarding, uh, uh, um, you know, the product on the field and, and great sports stations, but we're going to look at the business side of sports. And, God, there's so much going on out there. And if when you start to hear some of the numbers and the economic impact that uh, sports has here in uh, South Florida, Miami-Dade County, you're going to want to tune in uh, starting tomorrow morning. So uh, Jose will be my co-host, and uh, we're going to get on this journey because I think it's fabulous, and it is absolutely critical, very important to our community. So we're going to go to our last break, and when we come back, around town with Clara Serrano and some very exciting announcements that I want to share with you. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. Don't have time to eat smart with your busy lifestyle? Fit to Go cooks and delivers healthy, balanced meals to your office every day so you can check that off your to do list. Fit to Go lets you customize your meals as much as you like at no additional cost. There are no contracts or commitment. Just pay as you go. Call fit to go to schedule complimentary meals for your office today. 305-718-3858.
Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact Attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305 854 26 Adam and Eve Solutions believes that your website is the centerpiece of your marketing. They believe that your website should convey credibility and trust. They believe in producing results and they guarantee it. When you're looking for a new website and you want to go to the next level, you need to call Admin E Solutions, 561-272-8567, or visit their website, adminesolutions.com. Your website should produce leads and work for you. The time to redesign your website is now. I'm Bill Gross, Certified Public Accountant and Certified Financial Planner and President of Gross Financial Services. I've been helping individuals plan and secure their retirement for over 30 years. One of the ways we can do this is with our new 5.75 annual percentage yield paid monthly program backed by major insurance companies. Call me toll free at 866-684-1224. That's 866-684-1224. Welcome back to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now your host, Pete Delatore. Okay, welcome back, my friends, to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz, the only all business radio station in South Florida. Of course, we are broadcasting, as my good friend Ed Woodson says, from the Magic City, Miami, Florida, and heard around the world on 880 The Biz. Dot com. And, of course, our program today is sponsored by FIU College of Business, Kathy Parade and Associates, PS Business Parks, Global Advisory Services, Sora Global Insurance and Consulting, and Redbird Chiropractic. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Big question, my friends. Your greatest wealth is? Of course, it's your health. And by health, they don't mean that you have to take Advil or a cortisone shot for your pain. If you have neck pain, low back pain, headaches, knee pain, don't ignore it. At Redbird Chiropractic, they help get to the true cause of pain so it does not return, and they do this naturally. They do Gentile instrument adjustments to your spine. They have a no-weight policy, and they have very affordable fees if your insurance does not cover chiropractic services. We just spoke about insurance with Efrain Sora and the confusion in that world. Um For an appointment, call Redbird Chiropractic today at 305-763-8880. That is 305-763-8880. Okay, we have now on the line our our guru of fun and entertainment here in in South Florida, Miami-Dade County. That is, of course, Clara Serrano from Freedom Concierge Services, for another Around Town segment. What's going on? Good morning, Pete. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. So we have a lot of fun stuff going on. Lace up your corsets and sharpen your swords for the Renaissance Festival taking place this weekend through March 16th at Quiet Waters Park in Deerfield Beach. The Renaissance Festival focuses on the good things from that era when Europe was emerging from the Dark Ages Things like giant turkey legs, fancy velvet costumes, archery, and, of course, Joyce. Florida Renaissance Festival is going on Friday, I'm sorry, Saturday, February 8th through Sunday, March 16th from 10 a.m. till sunset, Saturdays and Sundays, plus they will be open for President's Day. Quiet Waters Park is located at 401 South Power Line Road, Deerfield Beach. Admission is $20, children 6 through 11 is 8, and children 5 and under are free. For more information, you can visit www.ren-fest.com. Also going on this weekend is the Global Cuba Fest, which offers a new spectrum of music from the island. When most people think of Cuban music, they think of the classic styles from the last century. The song, the urgent mambo, heart-rendering, uh, Feline. Some will 
know the Afro-Cuban jazz or the churning timba that energized the island's music scene in the 90s. But Global Cuba Fest is taking place this Friday and Saturday at the Miami Light Project and offers a new taste of a newer spectrum of Cuban music informed by increasing contact musicians on the island that they've had with the outside world. Global Cuba Fest is going on this Friday and Saturday from Mm -hmm. 8 p.m. And it's taking place at the Light Box at the Goldman Warehouse located at 404 Northwest 26th Street in Miami. For further information, you can visit their website at www.miamilightproject.com or call 866-811-4111. Also going on Saturday is the PAM Free Second Saturday presented by Target Kaleidoscope Crabs. Create colorful crabs with Miami's TM sisters. They are known for multimedia performance art and video. Youth of all ages ages can make their own crustacarians using a swirling kaleidoscope of materials. These mini sculptures will then come to life in the PAM Theater by placing them in a green screen's magical background. The PAM Museum is open to the public and is free on Saturday, February the 8th from Mm -hmm. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. The location for the PAM Museum, for all those who do not know, is 1103 Biscayne Boulevard, Miami, Florida, 33132. And that's all I have for this weekend, Pete. um, There are a lot of other fun events going on. For further information, please feel free to contact me, Clara at Freedom Concierge Services, and the best number to reach me is 786-307-3574. Again, that number is 786-307-3574. Clara, great information. Uh, uh, we all focus on working hard, but we also want to play hard. And uh, in South Florida, there are things going on all the time, and it's important to know what's out there because there's something out there for everyone. And I know that a week from today, you have uh, a lot to talk about because it will be President's Day weekend, Valentine's. So uh, get ready, my friends, because Clara, I know, is going to have a, a significant list to share with all of you. Oh, so much to go over for Valentine's uh, weekend, and uh, as you said, President's week, uh, month, President's Day, which is on next Monday. Um, a lot of fun things going on, and a lot of new places opening up around town as well. So we'll talk about that next week. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pete. Have fun. Take care. Bye bye. All right, around town, my friends. Uh, it's a segment we do here every Thursday. You don't want to miss that because there is a lot going on there. Let me share with you a couple of exciting announcements. Tonight, uh, our good friends at Sergio's in Doral having their official grand opening. It is, uh, they've been out there for a couple of months now, I believe, and, and you know, they, they've been open for business, but tonight is the big one, the grand opening. The address for Sergio's in Doral is 1640 Northwest 87th Avenue, and uh, uh, great location, great food, and they're going to have a great time tonight couple of other exciting announcements. We started yesterday, and we'll get more information as we move forward. Our second Biz Innovators Meet and Greet will be Monday, March the 3rd at Miami Headache Institutes, located at 2344 South Douglas Road, otherwise known as 37th Avenue, Coral Gables, Florida, 33134. And Saturday, March 8th, we are going to have our very first business champion boot camp at Hellman's Worldwide Logistics in the route, 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. More information will be coming out in the next few days on that. So a lot of stuff going on. What a great uh, show today. The guests have been phenomenal. Jackie Sosa from FIU College of Business, f and Sora, Sora Global Insurance and Consulting, Sally's Biz Tips, of course, Sally Varba, New Dawn Enterprise, and Around Town. So thank you so much for listening today. My friends, do not forget to download my mobile app, very, very important here. Uh, you, that, that, that I know a lot of you have already downloaded, you have an opportunity when you register on the mobile app, uh, other listeners are, will be able to reach you and vice versa. And just go into the tab that says uh, Biz Fan. You don't want to miss that, okay? So download my mobile app. I want to leave you with this, as I do every day now. Have a vision for tomorrow, but keep an eye on today. God bless.
Thank you for tuning in to the Pete De La Torre Business Hour, your home for late breaking news on business opportunities and economic development in South Florida. Tune in again tomorrow at 8 a.m. for the Pete De La Torre Business Hour here on 880 a.m. The Biz. <laughs>